reserve. The local community was awarded a land restitution claim in terms of a settlement agreement in April 2007. Not much glitz and glamour at the official launch and handover of the multi-million rand worth Mayabuya Game Reserve Wildlife Economy Project. But the local community is ecstatic as they are now the new beneficiaries of the land. Funded and implemented through the Department of Environmental Affairs Extended Public Works Program, the Game Reserve is located in the Kambatini local municipality area. It's about 4,680 hectares in size. We intervened and pumped in about 10 million rand just for them to beef up the infrastructure, fencing, the renovation of this building in front of us, the road leading to this place. So there was then a need for us to come and hand it over. The project has unlocked a further 100 million rand in private investment for the development of the eco estate. The event, however, was interrupted by a group of disgruntled community members. Among their concerns, being excluded as beneficiaries of the land and not being consulted about the handover of the game reserve. And we're not going to tolerate this. If you call us to die, we're going to die for our land. They are not consulting us, but we are representing the people. We've got a list of about 400 people that we are representing. The deputy minister urged community members to stop fighting and work together. This is a prime area. If people knew what they have, they are having gold in their hands. They would not even be doing what they are doing, exhaust themselves in fighting. They would be reaping the fruits of this place. This is what we want to try and convey to the other group, to say, look, here's a potential for everyone to come and benefit from. Come on board and stop the fight. Thompson has promised to meet with community members to listen to their concerns. Yugeshin Pule, SABC News, Peter Maritzburg.